Our team coverage of those children falling through the cracks continues now with SIA New Yorker. Yep, and Sia, you've been trying over the past couple of weeks, really, mm -hmm. to get answers about Anaya Day Garrett and other children who've kind of fallen off the radar yeah. of uh, children and family services. So you tried again today. And trying again today. Wow. We are still trying to dig deep. A spokeswoman told us they are not going to release the information. This is after we gave Children and Family Services a list of 45 children who were killed between 2015 and 2017 and asked them to run each child's name to see if they had previous or open cases. These are the faces of four children here in Cuyahoga County that are dead, their mothers charged with their deaths. Each one had previous or open cases with Children and Family Services. Four-year-old Anaya Day Garrett found dead with trauma to her head, malnourished, weighing only 29 pounds. Her mother, Sierra Day, and boyfriend, Deontay Lewis, were charged with her death and being held on $1 million bonds. Five-year-old Jordan Rodriguez found buried in the backyard. Investigators recovered his body in garbage bags. His mother, 34-year-old Larissa Rodriguez, was charged with his death. She's the mother of nine children and pregnant with her 10th child. Documents show her home was filled with cockroaches and rats. She's scheduled for trial next month. During the Rodriguez investigation, it was discovered that Jordan's caseworker from Bright Beginnings, Nancy Caraballo, was reportedly buying Rodriguez's food stamps and allegedly trafficking them. She's been indicted by a grand jury. Five-year-old Tanasia McLeod was killed last March, beaten to death. Her mother, Tequila Crump, and her live-in girlfriend, Ursula Owens, were charged with her death. In the five weeks leading up to Tanasia's death, a social worker visited her home eight times. Crump's trial is scheduled next month. Two-year-old Alexandria Hamilton was murdered in 2010. Her mother, Taisha Hamilton, was convicted of killing her. Investigators say the child was scalded in hot water and suffered multiple burns all over her body. According to Children and Family Services, they had a long history of working with and investigating Taisha. Alexandria had an open case at the time of her death. Her mother is serving 15 years to life in a state prison. She's up for parole in August 2025. I've been working on this information with investigative producer Cassie Nist, who continues to dig and ask questions. Now, there's an event planned for tomorrow called Hashtag Chalk the Walk. It's a group of community activists who plan to write the names of all the children who have died that had cases with CFS on the sidewalks of the Justice Center. Mm -hmm. I say you mentioned a number earlier, 45, 45 children dead in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. What do we know, relatively speaking, is, is that a high number or a low number? Any number at all, of course, is unacceptable, but... You know, one is too many, to right. be honest with you, right. but... And 45 does seem high, I would say it's high, but because uh, Children and Family Services is not giving us the information to compare, we don't know. And so we'll continue to, you know, pound the pavement and, and try to get those answers for people and get justice for these children. There needs to be transparency before Absolutely. there can be correction. Absolutely. All right, Sam. Yeah. Thank you. Well, several local groups coming together for a Save a Child Marathon sleepover. It's being held in honor of Anaya. It's being held at the Jane Edna Hunter Social Services Building on Euclid Avenue. Starts at 8 p.m. Sunday night and ends at 9 a.m. Monday morning. People are encouraged to bring tents, chairs, and snacks.